Monitor number one is the Asus Rogue Swift PG27U. Q, that's a long name. The Asus, I'm actually gonna read it here. The Asus Rogue or Rogue Swift PG27UQ, and I'll put the link down in the description as well. But this is a, the IPS monitor as well. It's a 27 inch monitor, it's a beautiful monitor. Um, the resolution on that thing is 3840 by 2160. It's a 4K monitor, very, very high quality monitor. It's pretty expensive, um, but the refresh rate on that is 144 megahertz. You turn me talk about that, that's an important factor and that's kind of where you wanna be at at the minimum. Uh, the thing about this monitor is it doesn't have a curve. Um, it's not a curved monitor, it's just a flat monitor and it does have the G-Sync anti-screen tearing. So that's a really important factor that I now know about that I wanna make sure that you look at as well. And I think that this is the best 27 inch monitor uh, without a budget. So if you're looking for a high-end, really high quality monitor, I would definitely consider this one. And I compared some of the other ASUS ROGs that were very similar to this, and this one was much more superior and kind of newer, a newer monitor in general. Monitor number two is the Dell S2721QS. That is a mouthful. We're gonna put the descriptions down there because I can hardly say them. So I'm sure you're not gonna remember that and you probably don't have a pen to write it down, which you should. Shame on you, I'm just kidding, no shame. But I want to make sure that you remember these and you actually take these down. So click the link in the description to check them out yourself. But this monitor is also an IPS. The resolution on this is also 3840 by 2160 and it's a 4K monitor. Uh, the refresh rate is 60 Hertz on this. So this is a really good monitor to be honest. Um, anything above this is probably overkill, especially on a 4K. And if you're doing graphic design, there's no curve on this one either. And it does have the anti-screen tearing with the FreeSync. So FreeSync's really great, so is the G-Sync. So these are a really good option. Um, I think this is the best budget 4K monitor that you're gonna find for under 350 bucks. So if you're looking for a tight budget, this is a really good option for you. You kind of get good bang for your buck. Monitor number three is the LG 27UN850W. It just keeps getting longer, folks. That's why the descriptions are so important. But this monitor also has the IPS panel. 3840 by 2160, it's a 4K as well, 60 Hertz, no curve, and has the anti-screen tearing with FreeSync as well. So this is a really great monitor I want you to consider. And this one I picked because it is the best budget monitor under 450 bucks, um, but it's not as good as number two. Uh, it's just something to think about, but it's another good option for you that I wanted to include here as well. All right, we're blowing through these pretty fast. We're gonna jump over to number four. And number four, I actually changed from what I was originally planning, and that's the ASUS Predator X34. This is an expensive monitor, but it is a beast. I wanted to have an ultra widescreen monitor, and that's what this baby is. It is a monster. It does have the IPS as well, 3440 by 1440. So this is a really great resolution, and it does have a curve. It's got the 1900R curve, so it's got a pretty good curve to it. So this one does have the G-Sync, I looked at this one and if I was gonna buy a monitor, it has the curve to it, it has the really high quality resolution, it's got the good refresh rate, it's got everything I need and it's under that thousand dollar price point. From what I've seen online, there's a few places where you can find it, but this is a really good quality monitor and it's got that 34 inch ultra wide and I love being able to split my screens. I think this is a big deal for you, something to consider, so get, get a good look at the Acer Predator X34 and if you're looking for a big widescreen monitor, this is a good way to go. So monitor number five is the Gigabyte G27QC. This is another really great monitor and this isn't IPS. So this is a little bit downgrade of the IPS to a VA, but it's almost as good as the IPS and it has the 2560 by 1440. So it's more than the 1080 by 1920, the, the typical standard size resolution, but this has a good, good resolution in it, 2560 by 1440. Um, and it also has a refresh rate that's really high of 165 Hertz. And it has the curve as well, a really steep curve of 1500 R. As I mentioned, the lower the curve, the lower the number, the higher the curve. And this is a really good monitor. And this monitor is the best curve monitor you're gonna find with that 1440 resolution. And you're gonna find that for under 300 bucks. So that's a really good deal for a good quality monitor, something you should consider as well. Monitor number six is the AOC 24 G2. We're stepping down in resolution and we're also gonna step down in cost. This is gonna be a good budget monitor for you, but this is a 1920 by 1080, which is great high resolution HD monitor, but it has the 144 Hertz re um, refresh rate on it, which is great. Um, it doesn't have a curve, so this is just a flat monitor and it's under 200 bucks. So this is a really good option for you if you're really on a tight budget, 
consider the AOC 24G2. Monitor number seven, and this is the last monitor, and it's another AOC. And this is the AOC C24G1. This is a 24 inch monitor. These last two were 24s, and I think all the rest of them other than the Predator were 27s. But this one is a VA panel, so we're not going into the NAs or the TAs, I mean. We're sticking with the VAs and the IPSs. But this one is also 1920 by 1080, has that 144 hertz resolution. And this one is curved. It's got the 1500 curve, which is great. And it has the free sync anti-screen tearing as well. And this monitor is the best curve monitor that you're gonna get with the 1080p resolution, and it's under 200 bucks. So whether you're going for the high-end, thousand dollar monitor and you can go into those four or five thousand dollar three thousand dollar monitors if you want but if you want to keep it on a budget that's what i was trying to find is something that were really relatable and realistic for you and these monitors these seven monitors here are going to be a really really good deal so those are the seven monitors like i mentioned we're going to put the descriptions for each of those in the description of the video we'll link them so you can actually check them out on amazon most of these are amazon links and I hope this helped you guys out. I wanted to make this video because Mercy asked. She wanted to get a monitor and that's what we're all about. If you wanna actually get some help with your graphic design career, there's a specific area that you need help in, definitely jump into the Instagraphics Pro Network, join our community, join our tribe. We're doing some amazing things here and it's growing every single day. But make sure you fill out all the questions because I won't let you in. I wanna make sure that we have the best of the best. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this video was helpful. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. I'm Adrian Boysell and as always,